Mm. Alrighty, ladies, now that we've got your food sorted, um, let's get you some wine. Oh, yes, please. I really like an oaky Chardonnay. First up for you, we have got the mackerel mousse with parsnip and horseradish puree. Ooh, and then also our house-made sausage, organic pork belly, and our house blend of herbs and spices. This wine is absolutely beautiful. Where's it from? Um, it's actually just from Carrick, so it's um, just over the hill. In fact, you just missed Rosie. She was just in a few minutes ago dropping off a case of wine. So this is the barrel ball. Wow. So Jean, I know you had the EBM Chardonnay before at the Bannockburn Hotel, so I thought I'd bring you here and try a couple of the different Chardonnays that we make. We have a number of different parcels of Chardonnay with different clones, and they each have their own qualities, and then we ferment them separately, and then put them into barrels separately as well, and then each has its own unique character. A big part of what we do here at Carrick is obviously make beautiful fruit on site, um, and we've been certified organic since 2010, um, and makes my job easy uh, if we are delivered this beautiful fruit. And Cliff, our vineyard manager, has been here almost three years now and does a fantastic job of that. So I think we'll head out to the vineyard and go and meet him, eh? Here we are at uh, Carrick in uh, the Bannockburn subregion. These vines here are the first ones planted on the Kemia Road on this side of Bannockburn back in 1994. Uh, they've got plenty of gnarly character, so that balance is key for the flavours and, and quality of grapes that we're looking for to ensure it's uh, the best possible flavours coming through for Rosie to use in the winery. So she requires great grapes to make great wine, so uh, it all starts in the vineyard. Centro Otago wine growers on the forefront of organics and biodynamics. The organic and biodynamic approach, we're, we're not using na those nasties on our, on our fruit and um, in doing so we're able to retain the natural yeasts coming through from, from the vineyard and they're being held on the grapes. That's going through to the winery for uh, our wild ferments and yeah, the consequences of that is it's a beautiful wine. 